Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me on my YouTube channel and Bitchy channel uh, and others. I'm adding them, uh, but they'll be in the description box as and when I manage to set them up and add them at True Divine 44. You can also get me on my Facebook at True Divine 44. Appreciate everything that you do, sharing, liking, subscribing. It really does help me grow and it helps open up even more dialogue amongst even more people. The comments are amazing. The people commenting and creating that dialogue is, is just superb. So thank you. This is the daily energy stroke tower reading, tower stroke energy reading uh, that I do on a daily basis to help you reach your highest potentials and get a, a weather energy warning, so to speak, of the energies, <clears throat> excuse me, that you will have um, within you, around you and within others. Now, of course, this is general, so take what resonates for you. Um, more often than not, it can be that it's energies that you're going to observe amongst other people and that gives you the foresight to even be able to deal with that and recognize what's going on there. So this is for the 27th of February 2021, um, <clears throat> which where to start, where to start. So on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Knight of Cups. And so... I'm sure this has come up this week already. So this is the knight that has the, the, the one cup in one hand holding it steady. Um, the cup and what is within it, what, re what it represents uh, emotionally for this knight is um, paramount. You know, he's not going to spill a drop. He's, he's, he's absolutely um, determined to uh, reach the, the, the point that this cup wants to be at, uh, the intent going forward. And so it's in the upright. And so there is this energy of compassion today amongst others. There is this energy that some of you might receive a loving message that you either just needed or have been waiting to hear that you've intuitively known was coming, but were doubting yourself a little bit. And it comes through today. Um, it might also mean that you need to be or are the Knight of Cups energy today in that you are the one that has to go forward. And, you know, it's the wearing the heart on the sleeve. Uh, it's not an easy energy for a lot of people to do, um, to be able to uh, not be in fear of um, being discarded or having the wrong answer given or, um, or, or, you know, just not having that fear of judgment to be able to just speak as you feel and feel as you speak um, with absolute honesty. And that's a, that's a real gift to be able to do that. And it takes um, work, more work for some people than not. Um, some people are naturally gifted at this and naturally good at this, but more often than not, the people that I meet, you have to work at it. You have to work real hard at it. And so, there's this energy going back and forth, depending on where you land with it. On the other deck, we have the strength card. And so this is number eight, Major Arcana. And it is, you can see here, the snakes that are going up the, the spine, it's the Kundalini energy, having that strength, um, that energy. And it is the divine feminine, divine masculine, hence the Kundalini snakes on this card. Um, this is a strength that isn't about muscle. It isn't about um, uh, um, outwardly strength to the, for the most part. This is the inner divinity strength of the divine feminine, divine masculine. This is the divine feminine intuitive nature and the action-packed masculine lion Leo nature. And so this is where um, we, ha we need the strength to be able to accept these loving messages or deliver them. And that strength comes from inner confidence. That strength comes from no matter what um, the outside gives, no matter what answer outside of me gives uh, to my compassion, to my love, I'm absolutely okay with that. I will not be shook to the ground uh, if I don't get the answer that I would really desire. Um, so I feel safe to deliver. And that's the strength in the Knight of Cups that uh, even, even with the risk of not getting the answer that is, um, that is wanted or desired, you still go forward anyway because you have this inner grit, this inner strength, because you know that you've built yourself up enough in these divinities within that 
it's not going to break you. It's not going to ruin your life if you don't get the answer that you want. Um, and for those who aren't at that place, at that stage, it's a huge freedom. It's a huge um, release of any shackles to be able to get to this place of strength. And that strength in being um, submissive to uh, showing your compassion and your love and your emotions um, absolutely um, transparently and, and knowing that you can't be broken by whatever the outside answers back to those messages. And so this is the strength for today underpinning the whole reading. Um, and be aware that if it's somebody else coming towards you, even if it's not going to be um, the answer that they're coming towards you, that they want that you're going to give or that you feel led to give, uh, have the strength to be compassionate and, and the, still the strength to give the answer that you are led to give. You don't just give the answer um, just because you feel bad that's that's a weakness too you need the strength also to be able to deliver whatever it might be the answer that you feel led intuitively to deliver uh, but at the same time the strength and the compassion of the divine feminine to back down that lie in a little bit and have the compassion to know that the stages that this person has gone through in order to be brave enough to send this message, to give this message, to do this action, um, to show you uh, how much you mean to them or, or whatever it might be. We've got the five of wands as the first card. So you can see here it's, it, it's trees, you know, bashing into each other really um, and one toppling over. This is conflict. Um, it's it's not as serious a conflict as it's being made out. Now, as far as the collective stage, uh, the challenges of the two bottom of the deck cards is to maintain strength enough through these times when we're being driven like cattle to lose all senses of compassionate humanity, of understanding humanity. Um, it takes strength and integrity and honor to be able to maintain that in in these times and so that's for the collective stage the five of wands for the collective stage is that we have to get to grips and we have to start speaking out about what is going on um this conflict that we are perceiving uh, the low frequency magic that people are still tuning into um through the television through mainstream media in general um is is absolutely a diversion uh, because this that conflict that they are putting out there might not be nice, it, it's not nice at all, but it is um, part of the spell of, um, like the magician, you know, it causes a distraction of some sort with the red cloth going over or, you know, there's some kind of um, dance or distraction to, to take the eye away from the trickery that's going on beneath. Um, and the trickery that's going on beneath is far darker than the conflict that we think is pretty bad anyway, that they are feeding us on a daily basis. Um, and this is serious because too many people are still too distracted on the points that they are wanting us to be distracted on. Um, for the personal, individual level, um, people, there are a lot of people that are being deeply affected today by this low frequency magic through whatever medium it's coming through. Uh, so you, it, it might be like walking, you know, on on um, a minefield today regarding just people's energies. You will recognize it when you're out in the shops. Uh, people are tense. People are wanting to fight. They're wanting to make excuses to quarrel and argue, which is the five of wands. Um, so, you know, frustrating indeed, because you think if I could just blindfold you for three weeks, no, no mainstream media, then you would, you would be fine. This spell would lift from you, the veil, the illusion would go from your eyes and you would see. Um, but we can't do that, unfortunately. Um, forced blindfolding, that would be a thing right now. Um, so, and what's happening is people get, who are under this kind of spell, get addicted to the way it makes them feel. They get addicted to the conflict that it stirs up within them, that it, the conflict that then through their energies, um, but up against somebody else who's done the same thing, they get, they get addicted to the quarreling, to the fighting. 
unfortunately for some of you, I feel like this is uh, within the family structure. Um, and you have these people who have been deeply affected by this low frequency magic um, and who almost enjoy the quarreling, enjoy the arguing, the separation and the division within the family. Uh, it's a very difficult place to be in. As far as the distractions from the collective stage, a major play, and I said this would happen, is that, you know, uh, the, the gates of hell are, are, is buying up land. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles to clarify the Five of Wands. So while the distraction has taken place, as was planned, um, the, the more nefarious plans that, that were even being distracted by uh, are taking, going ahead, taking place. Um, this buying up of the land, um, it spells really bad news and the things that I would love to say right now I can't say um, but read my mind uh, you know some solutions that I would love to say uh, but we need to be making a noise about this and uh, th this is where we have to say you know that we have to say no no more distractions the gloves are off we know this to be true we know that to be true and start opening up for goodness sake in the UK um, going on with your lives you're not being protected by doing as you're told um, you're you're being used and abused uh, suppressed and oppressed and and they will not be there to mop it up afterwards they'll pretend to be but they're not going to be and so even down to the businesses um, especially in the UK I can see a lot of uh corporate type elites uh, are going to make a move to be buying up a lot of properties, old offices uh, to create, particularly in London, to create very expensive, affordable homes um, or affordable homes and fill them up like the mouse city. And so this is taking place right now. And through our complacency, we've allowed this to happen through doing as we're told, um, doing as we're told we're still from psychopaths um, that have maintained their power because the collective has been complacent. There's this huge grab of the reality um, in all ways, shapes and forms. The, the, the normie person um, compared to these so-called powers that be is being constrained here. And it's through this distraction, through this distractionary technique, um, this conflict is only serving them. The distraction is only serving them. So the solution comes right up behind it in the hermit card. Well, I'm seeing him for a little while um, and he's coming up again. And so the hermit card, major arcana, number nine, um, is the, uh, you know, I'm sure Tesla knew about this energy in that the strength of being able to face anything within, to not fear the, the lurking dark corners of yourself within self. Um, when you do this, you become immune to the distractionary spell work. You become immune to their techniques because they use the techniques of um, pulling on strings like they've got strings around each organ in your body and they just put out headlines, put up eye numbers and they, they put out certain things that, that they can then puppet you from, they can pull on this wound, you know, on this organ, they can make you um, react in a predictable way. And so and that's the five of wands. So we see for the lack of uh, the sake of the hermit, for hermit's sake, uh, we need to get real honest and real comfortable and feel comfortable in the hermit energy to be comfortable in this energy to not be afraid to look at self to not be afraid to um take a step back and be within um for for long periods of time that's where this strength is that's what takes away a lot of the power of what we've seen over the last couple of years would not have been possible i guarantee you would not have been possible if enough people had been comfortable with the hermit energy. Uh, the hermit to me is always the blind and, and mute warrior with holding the lantern. Um, and he, you can see the dark background behind. And so he just holds this light out um, and walks this rocky path within. 
and, and, and just holds the lantern up to the dark corners of self, to the wounds, to the hurts, to the um, abuses, to where you are the abuser, you know, whatever it is. To be uncomfortable with yourself means that you are subject to somebody else using that. And so this is where it's really calling us while this conflict is happening, especially for those that it's happening in the family, retreat into self. I know as a single mother of three, it's difficult to um, get time and I make time, but to get time, um, it, it's difficult to get enough time that I'd want to, to be able to spend time with self, um, to be able to go deep into this hermit energy. I can tell you now, it's very helpful and it's very refreshing to, when I do get the chance, go deep into the hermit energy. Um, it's very, very refreshing for me to be able to do that, to be ritualistic about it, you know, to light the candles and and that is great but because of the the mother mothering i have to do and want to do you teach yourself because a lot of people will say well yeah that's great but i haven't got the time the whole point of the hermit energy is that the hermit is a warrior that you can be getting arrows rods wands thrown at you and you can be in your own space and time within um, that you can um, be doing the dishes, changing a nappy or going for a walk or being in the park with your children and being present physically, but get into grips with the skill of the hermit where you can um, still be within, still be contemplative, still be reflective of those corners. It just means that when you do grab the chance to be alone and have that ritualistic alone time, that you've already paved the way somewhat. You've already been thinking along those lines. So you can go deep straight into that corner, wherever that corner is of self, and look at it very, very deeply and clearly because you've already done a lot of contemplating over it. Um, this is the whole point of the, the creating such busy lives for people. The elite have had a major role in that, and so have people. And so this is because they know, they know when we've got time to be connected with self, when we've got time to be connected with um, being grounded, uh, being comfortable with ourselves, with the decisions or mistakes that we make, then there is very little that they can hold over us. There is very little ways that, that they can then cattle us in to various different bottlenecks that they put us into. And so it's deeply important that we fight back with this. Um, one, for our own path, spiritually, this is paramount to be able to do this. Um, and physically, you know, we get aligned with self on the inside, the physical reality reflects that. Um, we are far less likely, if we're comfortable in the hermit energy, to go out and punch somebody in the nose just because we are feeling stressed that day or just because somebody is rude to us. Um, we are far less likely to um, react in a, in a nasty way or a um, neurotic way because whatever happens, yeah, you know, you're comfortable in yourself, in your inner ground. And so this is so important uh, today and all days. Now, to clarify that, we have the two of swords. Again, she is in meditative pose. She's in white. She's neutral, pure. She has these very balanced swords crossed across her heart chakra, but she's blindfolded. It's funny, I didn't think of that when I said blindfolding before she's blindfolded she's cutting out all of the distractionary uh, conflicting noise um, to really contemplate which different paths hold uh, which different attributes for her to go down um, so this is where decisions do have to be made but doing it from a place where you have progressed in the hermit energy in the hermit journey this is going to make you know that you're making the right decision it's predominantly green around us so it's thoughts yes but it's heart chakra thoughts it's it's really being guided by your intuition by your heart um, by your heart frequency. Now, when you do that hermit energy, 
that is going to bring that into such alignment and such focus and power that you really do make the right choices and the right paths open up for you effortlessly with this energy combined. Uh, she's grounded, she's got her feet firmly on the ground. Um, so she's grounding those thoughts and she's focusing those thoughts down into her heart chakra area, eliminating all of the outside noise to be able to really hear. And so that correlates very deeply with this hermit energy. Uh, we've got the nine of pentacles after that. And this is where the outside reality reflects the inside, where you've been clearing out those weeds within self with that hermit energy. You make the right decision to go down whichever path you're being, um, paths you're being faced with. Uh, and other paths open up to abundance to um, a great deal of um, abundance in and ways of sustaining self in the reality, in the physical reality. Uh, again, number nine. So you, because you've put the work in of the number nine, you create the nine of pentacles in your physical reality. So the nine on the inside absolutely reacts to the reality on the outside and creates this nine on the outside which is good abundant joy um uh, success and uh, uh, knowledge uh, wisdom in your reality knowing where to put your pentacles knowing how to get them to pay back but the key to know is that it starts from within and works to the without not the other way around now that creates um in your home at least, a much more balanced state also. There's far less stress, there's far less worry uh, because the four of ones to clarify this shows that there is a balanced state of home. Um, there's a balanced state of affairs in the relationships within the home. So if the conflict was actually within your family, within the home, um, you uh, actually taking time out to do this hermit energy and choosing your path creates this abundance in your reality and creates this balanced home space, this happy home space and a happy family um, balance. If it was that the within your family still or within your friendship group still, but outside the, like the nucleus of the family, the, the small family home set in, um, it creates a impenetrable barrier to this conflict where, where it might have been upsetting before it just doesn't it's on different frequencies so even though you might still be hearing about this conflict and this noise uh, it just doesn't meet it just can't affect it's it, it's on one frequency here you've raised it up by doing the number nine the hermit card so the frequencies just do not meet yes aware of each other but there's no there's not the impact that there was there's not this even the skimming by that there was uh, as before so as far as the collective stage we really do need to take heed of the hermit energy um, to be able to really intuitively be guided to the next steps, to create the right paths within our own realities and let that spill out to as many people as possible um, to create this abundance again, this nine, to take that back. Um, and that's about it for today. So interesting and, and good uh, if you do that middle ground, the hermit card being in the middle is funny. Um, walk that middle path within with the hermit energy. Um, huge enlightenment, you know, with the blue robe on him. Um, doing this tonight would be great under the full moon energy. Um, and not to be afraid of what you're faced with. Don't be ashamed, don't be afraid. Um, uh, just work your way through it step by step, questioning that corner and let those answers bounce back and drive down and down and down until you get to the real root, the real seed, uh, where it all started, where it all started to unravel. And then you've learned from it. It's something that you put in your magician's toolkit uh, to go forward with rather than it being a weakness. Um, What else do I need to say? I think that is it. Um, as far as the land, uh, talking about uh, talking about uh, the, the gates of hell, um, 
as far as that land, I spoke about it a while back, um, and I've spoken about it often-ish um, regarding the 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 non-meat that's going to be coming out in force. I know it's already out, um, but you know, predominantly that's it's from good sources, you know. Um, but there's there's stuff hidden in that, similar to um, the jab, you know, uh, very uh, nefarious things that I can see happening there. Um, and that's the difficulty and the frustration I've got right now with the gates of hell buying up all of that farmland because um, the, 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 the nefarious activity will be made worse. Um, and this pr production of, uh, of, of, of non-meat meat and, and what it really has in it. Uh, I don't like it. It makes me squirm. I, I don't like it at all. Please uh, don't be tempted by it and be very discerning regarding it. Uh, so that's about all I've got to say for the 27th of February 2021. I appreciate and love you all. If you want a personal reading or any spiritual coaching sessions or any energy work sessions, hit me up at truedivinemedia at gmail.com. I appreciate you all. Much love, much balance and much wholeness. Mwah.